How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today I'm going to be going over all three accounts. It's crazy how it's going to line up, but I'm going to have KVK back to back to back and some overlap. So we're going to go over that. I'm going to go over the events that I have on each one of my accounts, how I'm working them and making sure I finish them every day. And we're just going to talk about everything on each account. Why not? We're going to have a lot of fun coming up. I've got War on my main account coming up on Sunday at 12 UTC. That's going to be crazy. I'm super excited about that. It will be live streamed. It's going to be a lot of fun. I have Ark of Osiris this Saturday as well that I'll live stream. Then I've got War coming up, Light versus Dark on my alt in 2396. And I've got KVK Season 1 starting on this account in 2563. So lots to go over. Let's get through the intro. Here we go. Okay, I figured I would start on my free to play account working from KVK season one up to light versus dark, then to strife of the eight. Figured it made sense. Why not? So what do we have going on here right now? What a bummer. I, oh, whoops, wrong one. Cancel. That's I, sometimes I hit the wrong X, but that's just the way it is. I, there was a kingdom buff yesterday, which is fantastic. And a 15% building rune, which is also fantastic. Architect. You have the most amount of buffs possible for a building. That's when you want to launch it from level 23 to level 24. Cost me a lot of resources. And then when we came online, there, there was lucky stalls. So a bit of a bummer, but you know what? You can't win them all. It is what it is. I have a lot more I need to push. We're going to do some of that right now. I've already grabbed a rune. We'll grab a kingdom title and we'll quickly push the next batch of buildings and research. We got to get into research as well. I'll probably do a small research today, wait for a kingdom buff and then really push the war tech because I'll have Academy 24. So let's get into this first off. What, what a bummer though. You know how many resources it was? It was like 50 million food, wood and like 30 million stone at 60% off. That would have been huge, but it's okay. You, you can never tell. I never would have thought Lucky Stalls would have come out today, but now I know. Okay, what else do we got? We've got this Path of Wisdom I went over on my last video. I know there was a day skip between videos, but I had a lot to do yesterday. Got my hair done, took the kids out, wife out, got, you know, some family stuff in, which was fantastic. Um, okay, what else do we have here? So let's quickly go over Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to do my free spin. Cannot complain with... What is that? 12 hours of free training speed ups. Awesome. I am going to do the 50% off 1.5 million food. You know, it's not the best. It would have been better for a gold header speed ups, but it could have been worse, I guess. But anyways, uh, I will obviously finish this very shortly when we speed something up. I like to grab the gold stars. Obviously, this is always something you want to finish. Even if you're not competing in the mightiest governor, you want these base rewards it's fantastic. You've got eight hours of speed ups. You got an attack boost. You've got gems, stars, and a gold key. Each stage, it's fantastic. I think it's a little different for each stage, but anyways, uh, let's talk about Lost Kingdom. I will quickly pull up. Where is it here? Cut. There is the Lost Kingdom map that you can see. I will have to look up because it's different on different screens. As you can tell, we are on the top right corner, 2563. It's a different color. Uh, I believe that, and I haven't done KVK season one in a long time, I believe, and let's see if I can get this right. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Um, I believe that there's the border in between now. So you don't have to fight 2564 and 2562 at the same time. You can choose a side. I think that's fantastic, man. I wish we had that. I wish we had a lot of things in KVK season one on my original kingdom not my original count but the original kingdom that i progressed my main account on which was 1167 um shout out to 1167 i have no idea if it's still alive or dead great question um but we did not have this we could migrate when kingdom versus kingdom was in play which was a nightmare all on its own we were stuck in a corner kingdom so we had to fight two people on one on each side it was awful awful this looks so much better it gives you a better chance to connect with allies and help each other out so i think this is going to be really cool i'm looking forward to it 
it should be a lot of fun. Let's get the map out of the way before I continue recording and have that up the whole time and script the video. Okay, and I've done that before. It's not fun. Okay, what's next? Lucky spins. I'm going to do this right now. I want to get that legendary commander sculpture. I also want to finish this building. Once I'm finished this building, I'm going to quickly speed this up and I'm going to start Academy 24. Before we do this, we already grabbed the 15% building rune. There's not going to be a KD buff. It is what it is. It's still really good. So the way I view it anyways is even if there was a kingdom buff coming up, you might not get the 15% building rune. You might only get a 7% building rune if that's what you have scheduled and that's your luck. Um, so I still think it's a good idea to push some buildings during a 15% building or training or research rune and getting the kingdom buff even without, sorry, the kingdom title, even without the kingdom buff. But let's hit this up. This is going to get us some more goodies, which is fantastic. I want to speed this up. I want this done and it is done. We got access speed ups, which is fantastic. This is great. Now, while you see this, I am Canadian and typically it would not say USD, but I've found a bit of a secret and no, I'm not talking about purchasing. I still purchase on my iPhone, which is Canadian. I'm going to pay the taxes and I'm going to hopefully write it off as a business. That's why I'm doing this on YouTube. But what I found was I got a VPN and when I connect to Seattle, even though I'm in Vancouver, the latency on the game on the beta version is 100% better. It's phenomenal. I have zero lag before I was clicking things like GIFs and it was literally lagging. Now it's just like, it's instant. It's so much better. So if you're having lag problems and you're doing PC, maybe try a beta ver or the VPN. I don't know, maybe it won't work for you, but it has definitely worked for me and it's fantastic. It's nice to see what the USD is, but even with the exchange rate right now, it's not worth it. Let's speed this up. So I've got, let's ask for a kingdom title as well. We've got building speed. I believe I already have it preset. If you didn't know and you're asking for a title in kingdom chat, you can make one really quickly by pushing this star, adding uh, what you want, architect, scientist, uh, Duke. If you're training, you hit confirm. You go into the star up here. You go into special, there's architect, you hit the link. I know this is a little complicated. So if you have to watch this part over again, just go back to it, architect and bam, I probably shouldn't show the side chats, but I'm not in any leadership anyway. So I don't think it matters, but there we go. I've asked for architect. You will see some people haven't figured out the links yet. It makes it easier for title givers, especially during kingdom buffs to do it like this because there's less chat they have to dig through when scrolling up trying to see who's next. So I highly suggest this. I know the title givers like it. If once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. It makes everybody's life easier. So we'll wait for that. I just got some gems, which is fantastic. YSG is still two weeks away, as you can tell by the universal wheel. So I have time to save gems, but I'm going to unlock him. And we have a good number and I'll show you after I grab did we not finish it? Wow, we didn't even finish it. Yikes. Well, I'll probably finish it with speed ups once we get the research kingdom buff. But wow, that's crazy. That's a lot of speed ups to get those items. But I'm pushing before KVK anyways. Um, so when I get YSG, I've got 39 saved up. I'm getting one a day from VIP. You know, I should be able to get them at 5111, no problem. Maybe 5211 by the time we're fighting. So that's, I think that's going to be great behind Charles Martel is likely where I'm going to put him hopefully at level 60, but we'll see. Oh, let's jump in. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be back in time before these rallies are filling up so fast. Uh, okay. I can bring this guy home. He doesn't need to sit there anymore. We're waiting for the kingdom buff. What else can I show you while I'm here? Uh, obviously you saw my commanders. I have Bjorn that I'll be pushing to level 60. I'm probably gonna run Bjorn, Sun Tzu, Charles Martel, YSG, Richard, hopefully get him to level 50. This is gonna be a real push and Ethel fled behind him. I really like these combos. I think it's going to be fantastic. If something doesn't work out, I'll swap it around. I would love to have Joan out in open field. She will be expertise by the time we fight. So if I can find a place for Joan out in open field, I will definitely put her out there. 
but I do want to try my hand at some damage, right? I do want to have some fun out in open field. So we're going to put some, you know, AOE damage commanders out there and, and hope for the best. And then when I have to, I can switch things up and really help the whales instead. Sweet. We got some more goodies from that building finish. Hopefully I get the architect soon. It's coming. It's definitely coming. Uh, Hitman was up. So I should be, I'm right after Hitman. I was in between Hitman, but should be done soon. Let's speed up this research actually. We will quickly go like this. I know I already have max helps. That is one thing you have to make sure you do is get max helps before you speed anything up. It's for me, that's 24% kind of. It's factored on the current or in the remaining amount after you get 1%. So really 24, 24 helps reduces down to like 20% off, which is still fantastic. Oh, he's not full yet. Sweet. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Claim, jump in there. If Belisarius comes back in time, which he will, we'll jump in another. I am, oh sweet, we got it. Let's quickly grab that. I hope I have enough resources. It doesn't look like I do. Oh, I'm short. Oh, oh, smack. Uh, snap. I should have said snap. Let's quickly wish, grab something good. Will I be really lucky? Can I skip animation? Yes. 50. Yes, we'll do 50. I'm not going to spend too many because I want it on research. I think 50 is fantastic. And oh man, this event is so good. Okay, I will say uh, done. Thank you. Always want to be nice in kingdom chat they're doing it for free and it's pretty much a job okay we've got this finish which is fantastic i'm not going to speed anything else up right now i do actually if we get 30 or 24 helps i will speed up academy and ask for scientists only because i don't like leaving this cooking when i could have research at the same time it's kind of like wasting time in my opinion that's just how i view it but then I've got to find something else to build, but we'll worry about that in a couple of minutes. I'll probably just come back to it after the video. Uh, oh, can I still make it in there? Yes, I can. Uh, switch. I don't know why it chooses him when he's not the highest level. Very strange. Uh, anything else on this account? How far down did we make it? We made it to lucky spins. We did. I still got 17. So there's a very good chance I'll be able to get uh, 60% off of research, which is going to be great. And that's where I'll use it. Uh, I will get this in no time. I have no doubt. I've still got almost four days to finish it. The bets. I don't know who to bet for. I'm just going for whoever has the highest prize pool. Obviously these rewards would be great. I'm looking at the resources, the speed ups, even the crystal keys. The, I think if I could get everything, that'd be great. I don't really want these. And I know some people might be like, what are you talking about? As a free to play, that's a lot of gold to reduce them down to Epic. Probably worth it, but I'm going to go for this stuff first for growth right now. I will leave that last. Maybe that's wrong. Leave a comment below. Maybe I've got it all wrong, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Let's just plop some more into these. I have no doubt they'll win. I won't get much back. The odds aren't very good, but oh well. I obviously always finish this event. It's free stuff. Uh, what have I bought? I went for the gold keys because I'm trying to get Charles Martel leveled up. I went for challenge tickets because it gives you uh, speed ups, uh, resources, experience books and material, something like that. Pretty close to that. I'm going to do the one hours. I need more speed ups. And then that's probably all I'll be able to get. Maybe some resources. These choice chests are great, but I'm not overly concerned about them right now. I'll get them through the gold keys. It is what it is. I am finishing all of this. I suggest everybody finishes that. If you have troubles with it, you can train T2. You can train more than enough T2 within a 24 hour period in order to get it. That's what these all are. I actually train T2 and then up T2 to T4. That's what I do. And I'm able to make it each time. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of speed ups, but that's only if I'm going to go offline for a long time. And if there's only 53 minutes, I'll of course speed it up. Uh, hopefully I'm not talking too fast, but we've got a lot more to cover. That's it on this account. I don't do Ark of Osiris on this account. I know that that's crazy. 10 gold sculptures if you win and get enough points. 
I just do not have the time for it. So this account, ooh, we have 115 of these. Uh, this account just, I don't have enough time. So this account could be better. I could be higher than 11 and a half million power, but I just don't have the time for it. Dang, we didn't get a legendary commander sculpture, but we got 37 ethel fled. That should be enough. I'm not gonna open up the gold keys or anything yet. Oh, sweet upgrade. That's not bad. I'll be hopefully rallying bar barb forts in no time, but my castle is pretty low. Getting books of the covenant isn't easy. I still don't have enough, not even close, 170. Rally capacity is a little low. My tech's not great. I'm not able to do level five barbed forts. Even full, I might be able to do it, but the severely wounded, it's not worth it. Okay, that's it. Let's jump over. I will come back and do a lot more work on that account before I go to bed, but let's go over to my alt in 2396. Um, I say it right now, very appreciative to be in uh, MW96. Hopefully I get to stay there for light versus dark. Um, I'm going to contribute a lot. I got a lot of troops to burn. I've got a lot of speed ups to go through. I have, I think the same amount of troops as before the last KVK. But if you saw my live stream, there was not a lot of war during that KVK. So I didn't get a chance to burn a lot of troops, even though I live streamed for like 11 hours total. It was really hard to burn troops. Okay, on this account, what am I doing? I'm doing a lot of barbarian forts. I'm out of action points though. Uh, I do sometimes use action points just if I'm online and I've burnt through them all and there's no barb fort rallies, I will just start one. I've got 2 million rally capacity with a max mina. I've talked about it before. This account was made before migration was a thing. So it was a literally an alt that wasn't allowed to migrate. So I just did max mina, had some fun in the early kingdom, T4 spend a bit on it, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. We got those gifts out of the way. Oh yeah, so fantastic. Look how quick this popped. We just got out of KVK season two, like two days ago, and we already got light versus dark on the horizon. Sweet, new season time, April 14th. So we still got like three weeks, I think till we're in it. But the fact that they even give you a countdown is like, like the light at the end of the tunnel. It's fantastic. I, we, everybody hates the stagnant time where you're just farming. I'd rather be farming in Lost Kingdom and getting ready for war than sitting at home doing level five barbarian forts with level, you know, 20 barbs around you. Gross. Uh, events wise, kind of the same thing. We didn't get, we have Card King. I don't need it. There's no commander I don't already have. Uh, but besides that, uh, let's see. So I'm not doing card king. I'm, I'm trying to do this as much as possible. I'll finish it. I have no doubt. This always finish all of them. Not a problem. Buying on this account. I did gold keys. I guess I bought two of those. Not exactly sure why I should be doing speed ups and I've done challenge tickets. We'll buy one more right now. Uh, let's see this. I'm going to finish this. Uh, I will be able to finish this with Woods Steel. So I will make sure I get those gems. And the reason I like these events is yes, you have to push some research, but you want that research anyways, and you're getting gems out of it. Gems for this account, which is low spending account. I have monthly gems and weekly material sometimes, but I don't spend a lot on this. I do have looser and scroll as well. I think that's a huge, huge bonus to have looser and scroll like the amount of stuff you get from this like even level 30 five legendary commander sculptures that's 10,000 gems from the vip shop it's huge absolutely huge uh, let's quickly buy this out i typically buy everything for resources except for no the the 24 hour resource collection boost i don't buy that it's too much resources and i have enough on this account i don't need it i don't buy it on any account really Let's grab this. Obviously finished to 100 every day. No doubt about that. I typically get all 10 on each account just because I cycle through so often. Uh, let's see, let's hit that up. What else do we got? Good, we got something there. We got Victorious Hearts, the same on the other account. I will do T2, like I said before, to T4. Um, I will speed up what I need to in order to finish on time, uh, even with Oh, that's nice. Even with uh, Siege Workshop, I will finish that as well. 
Um, I do have quite a bit of gold keys, but we'll save that for another time. I do want to work some gear as well. We'll save that for another video, kind of on a light versus dark prep video. Anything else on this account? I typically do Ark of Osiris on this account. However, because Saturday is now Ark of Osiris on my main, which is typically Sunday, because Sunday we have war. I'm going to do one hour Ark of Osiris this week. That's it. I'm not going to do more than one and I can't leave. Oh, we can leave this alliance now. It was maxed out before, but now it looks like we can leave. Um, that's it. That's it on this account. I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm gathering. I'm pushing buildings. I've decided to push a few buildings. I went hospital 25 on a bunch of them. This one's not done yet. But as you can tell, you get 1% troop health bonus from them. Everything's going to help. So I have pushed, I think it was just that one. I've got to do more than one. I thought there was more. I thought I did more than one. Yeah, okay, I did two. So I want to do some more as the resources come in. I'm going to push tech again up as high as I can. Get these all the way up. Continue with these. It's just, as you can tell, the speed ups. I got to wait for a 15% research rune, a kingdom buff, and scientist. Otherwise, there's no point. You're just killing yourself with speed ups. I got a good amount of resources. I've got a good amount of speed ups. This account was looking great for the upcoming war. I'm really excited about it. I've got a lot of these. I can't get the 10% attack boost, but I've got more than enough shields. I can buy those at any time. I usually get them with more than gems event. Uh, but this time, actually, with more than gems, which is coming up soon, and the next few days, more than gems will be here. I'm going to pump and I could do it now. I don't think it's worth it though, because I know more than gems is so close. I'm going to pump up to VIP 12, which gives me two legendary sculptures a day. Really going to help get my YSG, which is right here. And I can actually put a couple skills into them. You know what? Let's just do that right now. Why not? Let's just push that up. I've got everything else locked. I want them at 5511. And then hope that I get, you know, 5515, not going to happen, but one can dream. And yeah, just keep pushing him. He will definitely be 5511 before war. I have no doubt about it. Hopefully I can get that four skill before unlocking some of this, you know, garrison skill. Uh, Mehmed's looking good. I'm probably going to use him this KVK uh, with some gold keys. I'll be able to get this unlocked. He's going to look really good. Excited to use him maybe behind Charles Martel or something, but I'm sure we'll find a spot for him because obviously YSG is going behind my expertise, Alex, with his gear looking nice. And you know what? Can we get lucky? We got enough gold. We've got the blueprints. No way. <laughs> I was, that honestly wasn't going to do that. That's fantastic. Confirm. That's really cool. That's like having a legendary boot. Like that's really close to Shio's. That is exactly what the legendary infantry set piece is like for boots. Very cool. Um, I do think Scarlet Hounds is fantastic. It's 5.5 health when it's specialized. It's very easy to get it specialized. Very good boots. If, the, if you don't have the frost treads or enough to specialize it, there's nothing wrong with Scarlet Hounds. I think they're great. Okay. That was really, really cool. That's what's happening on this account. Three weeks from now, we'll be in light versus dark. Kind of matches up with my KVK season one and tail end of Strife of the Eight. But you know what? It's okay. We'll make it work. I'm sure the wars won't happen at the same time. There's a bit of a gap between them. So it should be totally fine. But let's check out my main account. We have war this Sunday. Very excited about that. Um, I'm not really pushing anything right now. I'm doing bastions. I am working on crystal tech, trying to get more call to arms. Be fantastic if I could get more troop capacity before the war. I'm going to push it. I'm going to get some of the, um, what is that bundle when you get the passes? Uh, warfare, mountain warfare, I think it's called. I'll definitely be doing that. Um, getting it up to probably silver, which is for me fairly expensive and not something I like to do, but to really push on this account and have fun in open field, 
I'm going to do it. Uh, all my commanders are back. Oh, snap. Let's send out, uh, let's see, do we have, well, we've got definitely gem farms to do. So we'll send these out and then I'll go over the events. I just want to send out something with YSG. There's not really any clumps going on out here. Holy smokes. That's ugly. Well, let's just go hit a couple barbs so I'm not wasting action points. We'll just use Mina and Tao Tao just to get rid of some action points. I'll probably send for some barb fort rallies. I do need to finish Bastions. I could also do some Kahar. I've got a lot of those saved up and my research is as high as it's going to go for that. So I could do that. Um, what events do we have on this account? Pretty much the same thing. I've been talking in Alliance chat. I'm going to save my, what are these called again? Sovereign keys until I have more so that during KVK I can get to 200 because once you get the chest, you can unlock, you know, a mightiest governor commander that you don't have yet. So I'm going to save these. I'm not going to open these up. I'll get the free one per day. I will buy the legendary commander sculptures from in here when I get a commander that I already have. So that'll be a nice little bonus, but I'm not going to go too far with it. I haven't placed bets on these yet. I probably should. Let's just hit this up and then I'll get some more from that and earning. So I got even more Rome. I will finish this. I typically don't. It's tough because typically I'm gem farming. So I have to go out of my way to get the resources, but I do try and do it each time. And then I will buy the uh, challenge tickets. I will buy the sovereign keys and I will buy all the exhibit exhibit coins and relic coins. If I don't fully complete this, each day, I will just go for these and challenge tickets. Um, we don't always have sovereign keys in here. Sometimes they're gold keys. Uh, this I finish automatically because I already have my tech, ma tech maxed on this account for you know normal tech. Uh, again, I do this on this account where I am upgrading T4 to T5. I train T4 during off season and then I upgrade them to T5 for the Bastion quest inside of Lost Kingdom. Uh, did we finish this? We did. Sweet. Always finish this every day. Nice to get relic coins and all that, all those goodies. I don't think I have, whoops, wrong one. I have lots of those as you can see, but I don't think I have enough to open anything. Nope. Um, let's see. We are going to be crafting soon more as web. I'm getting very close. I think I might have this before war. It's going to be close. If we should have Holy Knight's treasure tomorrow. I'm thinking we should have Holy Knight's Treasure or the Archaeological Dig event. That will give me, hopefully it's Holy Knight's Treasure because you get more material out of it. But it might be the Archaeological Dig event as well. Either or, we'll get material, we'll get blueprints, and we'll max them to 100 opens or Archaeological Dig. We go all the way to the end. After Mora's Web, I'm probably going to buy the Vengeance. Use that on Harold or Charles Harold, Alex Harold, however I'm going to pair Harold until I might get Pakal Harold. But it depends on what the new infantry commanders look like. Um, that's it, guys. That's This account is definitely ready for war. There is no doubt about it. I've got more than more resources than I need. I'm sure of it. I've got lots of speed ups saved. Not as many healing speed ups as I would like. But I'm totally fine with using universals on this account. No problems at all for healing using universals. I've got lots of attack boosts some defense boosts i've got army expansions i've got everything i need on this account i'm not worried about anything i've got to do kahar whistles for sure and those bastion quests but yeah i'm working these accounts really hard i will continue to work them hard i'm excited for a lot of content coming up i hope you guys are too uh we're hitting 30 minutes so i'm going to end this video there'll be more tomorrow and uh a lot more this weekend so see you guys soon thank you for checking out the video I've got to switch over to the outro. Have a good one. See you later, guys.